What's up guys, it's Globe here, welcome to another Call of Duty Ghost weapon comparison video. If you guys have recently started watching my videos or just recently subscribed to me, basically I've been doing this series since Call of Duty Ghost came out and what I do is I compare two weapons that I feel a lot of people mainly use within Call of Duty Ghost and I tell you guys some in-game stats and some stats in general which can make your mind to see which weapon is better at different distances, which playstyle you should be using these weapons and obviously which weapon is better in general. Today we are going to be comparing the Maverick AR assault rifle that came with the Onslaught DLC versus the SC2010 assault rifle. I feel both these assault rifles are mainly used and both of them quite have similar stats and are quite used in the same playstyle in general. Now if you guys are signed into your YouTube account be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Your guys support all my other videos have been absolutely amazing and this video did take quite a bit to make to, but to see your guys support on this video that would be absolutely mind blowing. To start off with, we're going to be looking at the built-in attachments between the Maverick Assault Rifle versus the SC-2010. Now, the Maverick Assault Rifle actually has a Transist Hyper Velocity Rounds built in, which basically means that the Maverick will have higher damage in close range combat with less bullets to use to kill the enemy, whereas the SC-2010 actually does not have any built-in attachments, and that's also where the SC-2010 falls down. Moving over to the magazine size with both these assault rifles, both of them have the equal or normal clip of 30, whereas both of them also have an average assault rifle extended clip of 45. Moving over to the reload time with both these weapons, the Maverick actually reloads at 3.13 seconds, which is quite slow for an assault rifle, whereas the SC2010 reloads quite fast for an assault rifle at 2.8 seconds. And if you guys don't know anything about reloading, but reloading in different situations could mean life or death. Moving over to the fire rate or RPM between the Maverick and the SC2010, once again this is also where the Maverick also falls down. The Maverick actually has a RPM or rounds per minute or fire rate of 652, whereas the SC2010 actually almost pluses it and is actually a 750 fire rate or RPM. Moving over to the iron sights between the Maverick and the SC2010, as you, as you guys can see, I find the Maverick is quite clear all round within the iron sights, even though it's got an annoying sticking little metal bits on the left and right side, I find it quite clear with the iron sights, whereas the SC2010 is kind of another story to me, I find that this weapon has uh, not as the clearest uh, iron sights within the all assault rifles, but I've got to say it is quite annoying with that little circle ring thing at the top and the iron sights are quite actually small to look through. Moving over to the damage and range between the Maverick and the SC2010, the Maverick actually is has a 50 damage at close range with dropping off to 24 at distance. This is basically a 2 to a 3 shot kill at close range and about a 3 shot or a 4 shot kill at a distance. Now this is where the SC2010 absolutely falls down. The SC2010 actually has a damage of 35 at close range, which is about a 3 to a 4 shot kill and a 20 damage at a distance or long range. And this is about a 5 to 6 shot to 7 shot kill at long range. Moving over to the headshot applier multiplier between both weapons, both of them actually have an equal uh, headshot multiplier of 1.5 times, which is across most assault rifles within Call of Duty Ghost. This is basically a two shot kill to the head or a one shot kill to the torso or and then a one shot kill to the head, which will equal the enemy to die really easy. Moving over to the recoil with the Maverick, as you can see already, personally, I find the Maverick to have a really high recoil, whereas the SC2010 has this really small kind of circular recoil. I find the SC2010 to have a really small moderate recoil, so personally, the SC2010 is, uh, the recoil is really good at long range to medium range. Moving over to what I feel the Maverick is good at. I feel the Maverick is good at for uh, people that have a rushing play style because it actually has a built-in attachment. The Maverick is also good because it has really good clean iron sights that you can see through. It also has velocity rounds built in so there's nothing uh, that you really need to add to make this weapon fire a bit more faster or add muzzle brake to get more damage. The bad thing about this weapon is that it has high vertical recoil. With the SC2010, personally I find the SC2010 better for medium range to long range just because it, just because it has that uh, not much 
much damage at close range or medium range. Another good thing is that it has very tight moderate recoil, so if you are going for long range to medium range shots, you should always be able to hit them on target. The bad thing about this is that it has a high fire rate, which means that you'll burn through all of your ammo, and I would suggest putting on scavenger, and both of these weapons are quite equal with the headshots. So guys, that was the weapon comparison today. I know a lot of you will probably tell me which weapon would you rather pick overall. Personally, I would pick the Maverick just because it has a better iron sights and it has velocity rounds built in. Although, you shouldn't be looking at what I think or what the stats think. It should be more as what you guys think or what you guys feel is better for you. And if you guys have enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new. Let's even get 30 plus likes on today's video and that'd be absolutely awesome. And I'll see you guys later. Globe out.